Chapter 23 Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Therefore thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock, and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whither I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In the days, in his days, Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely, and this in his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all countries whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man, like a man whom wine hath overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, for because of swearing the land mourneth. The pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up, and their course is evil, and their force is not right. For both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They have prophesied in Baal and caused my people to err. I have also seen the prophets of Jerusalem in the prophets of Jerusalem, and a horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers, that none doth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood, and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain, they speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me, The Lord has said, Ye shall have peace. And they say unto every one that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, No evil shall come upon you. For who hath stood in the counsel of the Lord, and hath perceived and heard his word? Who hath marked his word and heard it? Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days. Ye shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way, and from the evil of their doings. I am a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God of far off. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I feel heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophet said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh a rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that steal my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophet, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, He saith. Behold, I against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their likeness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, therefore they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. And when this people, or the prophet, or a priest, shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt then say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say the burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man and his house. 
Thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor, and every one to his brother, What hath the Lord answered, and what hath the Lord spoken? And the burden of the Lord shall ye mention no more, for every man's word shall be his burden. For ye have perverted the words of the living God, of the Lord of hosts our God. Thus shall thou say to the prophet, What hath the Lord answered thee? And what hath the Lord spoken? But since ye say, The burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord. Because ye say this word, The burden of the Lord, and I have sent unto you, saying, Ye shall not say, The burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you, and I will forsake you, and the city that I gave you, and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. A couple of big things in this chapter. Uh, most of the people want to know who are the evil pastors. But uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, in this chapter, he rails on who are the evil pastors. But right in the middle, Isaiah also tells about this remarkable, he makes this remarkable prophecy about a great gathering in the latter days and the righteous branch, which is the Messiah, Jesus Christ, will become king over Israel. This is verses 3 and 4 and verses 7 to 8. Now, who the pastors are. The pastors, he lists off a bunch of conditions, things about them in verses 11 through 31. But basically, these are people who are self-appointed, decide they get the call to the ministry. You know, they're not called by God, as Jeremiah and Isaiah and all the others were. These are people who sort of woke up one day and said, I thought it would be a good idea for me to be a pastor here. Um, and basically, the problem with that is these people do not have, because they don't operate with thus saith the Lord, and because they are teaching their own precepts and whatnot, they take from people the guidance that these people could have if they found somebody who was a real somebody who spoke the word of the Lord. And they deprive these people of hope. They, in essence, somebody who can't do what the Lord needs done, as Jeremiah was doing, robs these people of all hope. Um, and that's something that just Jeremiah just rails on, rails on, rails on. I mean, if you, if you teach people your own doctrine instead of the doctrine of God, what have you taught them? You've taught them how not to go to any great reward can't steal much more than that from them if they're going to lose everything because they listen to you. In verse 11, he talks about prophets. These are not people who are prophets of God. These are people who are self-appointed prophets. And the prophets and priests are all profane. That means they're just worldly. They're there for the money. Um, they prophesy, verse 13, prophesy in the name of Baal. And they also lead the people in idol worship. Oh, sure thing. Okay, yeah, this is going to get us, you know, up to the to heaven, live with God, yeah, we prophesy in Baal, what a wonderful thing for us to do. Uh, the prophets in verse 14 are adulterers, liars, support evil men, they tell the evil men, oh yeah, whatever you're doing is fine, yeah, oh, don't worry about it, there will be peace, everything will be fine, yeah, sure thing. They speak in verse 16 their own words instead of the words of the Lord, because they don't get the words of the Lord. Uh, verse 17, you know, the, the the evil men can be at peace. Don't have to worry about it. There's no there's no evil in the sin they're doing. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, and 21, he rails on this. They call themselves to the ministry. And they prophesy without Heavenly Father having spoken to them at all. In verse 31, they say, Thus saith the Lord, and the Lord's never spoken to them. Uh, at the very end, I think verses 27 and on, it talks about the branch of David. That really is Jesus Christ. You can refer back to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, or you can refer, go ahead to Revelation chapter 17, verse 14, and verse chapter 19, verse 16, and you can read a little bit more about Jesus Christ being the branch of David. 